What's up guys, it's Pierre here from Gdansk In Your Pocket and today we're braving the bad weather in Sopot. Uh, behind me you can see the Garrison Church of St. John. It was an evangelist church before World War II and afterwards it became Catholic. Now while it is a very lovely church, for me the biggest point of interest is the Chapel of St. Adalbert, who's known as St. Wojciech in Polish. Wojciech was a Czech missionary and he came to the Baltic coast in the late 10th century to try and convert the pagan Prussians here and in the process he got beheaded. And here he is here except he's got his head on of course. Today's Foodie Friday recommendation comes from William Boynton and William has recommended Seafood Station. Uh, it seems to be a very popular restaurant. Uh, I've heard a lot about it but I've never actually been. So today will be a good opportunity to uh, sample a little bit of seafood. We are after all on the Baltic coast, so seafood seems like a pretty good idea. Okay, I'm at my favorite spot in uh, Platz Strojowa. Uh, the Sheridan's over there, the Grand Spa's just there. And let's have a look at what we've got. The first thing I ordered was Schledge Kashubsku. Po Kashubsku, przepraszam. Kashubian Schledge. Now usually Kashubian cuisine, they like to marinate things in a bit of fruit and well, in this case, they seem to have uh, done something with uh, like a tomato sauce, I'm not sure. And now, since they don't have any cutlery in the bag, we're going to see how sturdy this is in scooping out some sledge, okay? I'm just gonna cheat a little bit, put it on there. I'm losing some onions. So sledge po on, um on a piece of baguette. Much nice. It's quite nice. It's on the sweeter side of tomatoey. The sledge is nice and marinated and soft. It tastes like sledge to me. Hmm. So, okay. I'm gonna keep the rest for later. Next on the list, we have British fish and chips. Well, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try one of these chips. It's much nago. Mmm. Oh, quite good. This is interesting. Mushy peas. This is very British. Mushy peas. I'll try a chip with a mushy pea. Mmm. It's a little bland, but it's, you know, it's homey and it's cozy and yeah. So mushy peas, all right. Hidden underneath, we have the fish. To be honest, I don't know what kind of fish this is. Oh, boja. A little bit soggy at this point. Okay, there we go. You see? <laughs> mm. the, the batter is a little sweet. That's interesting. Mm. It's nice and flaky still. So now, with tartar sauce, This is quite good, but the batter is slightly sweet than what I'm used to. We have, you know, British style fish and chips in Australia. And I don't know, this batter is a little sweet for me. Full disclosure, everyone, it does come with lemon. I personally don't like putting lemon on my fish or my chips, so. So guys, what did I think? Well, first of all, I'm very impressed with the packaging. Mostly it was all paper and a little bit of foil and almost no plastic. So I'm gonna give packaging a four and a half. Next, we should talk about presentation. And again, very, very good. The uh, chips came in some newspaper, just like uh, we would expect for a British fish and chips. And everything was generally pretty colorful and you know, it's all good, all right? Presentation is a five for me. Now, as for build, things started to get a little bit difficult for me when I jumped into the uh, deep fried fish. However, um, I didn't realize until later that there were actually uh, cutlery pieces in the bag. So I'm gonna give them a four and a half for the build. Now, most importantly, the taste. I thought everything was amazing. The only thing I didn't like was the fact that the batter was quite sweet. Um, in my opinion, it shouldn't be sweet. It should be fairly neutral, um, if not a little bit more savory. Furthermore, I, uh, I think the batter should have been a little bit more crispier. Then again, it's Navinos and I had to uh, uh, take a few minutes to find a place to actually eat. 
So, you know, I'll take that with a grain of salt, I suppose. So for today, I'm gonna give them a four for taste. And last but not least, the value. I paid 63 zwatties for those uh, two dishes. And considering the general value of fish and all that stuff, I have to say they're doing pretty well and I'm quite full. In fact, I haven't even finished all of my sledge. So for value, I'm gonna give them four and a half. Cause you're doing pretty well. So guys, tell me, where should I go next? Please leave a comment below. And in the meantime, you can check out all the cool content that we've got on facebook.com slash Gdansk in your pocket. And we're also on Instagram at Gdansk in your pocket. And until next time, I hope you have a good week.